Plymouth, Michigan about three days ago. Gary and I uh, heading out to Idaho for a bear hunt. Right now we're in Montana. We've got about two more hours before we reach North Fork and then we're gonna head down the Salmon River, get back up in there a ways, um, throw our packs on and set up camp. So we've been driving through this kind of stuff for the last, oh, I don't know, four hours, three, four hours. Um, pretty boring coming across the Northern Plains, but mountains are nice. see that one. No, he just came around. Now there's another one. There's a nice one right up there. Right behind the tree up above him. Pull forward just a little bit. There's a whole bunch of them coming down the water. He's tagged. No. And collared. better than the last ones we've seen. Well, I know where I want to start putting in for... This is the Frank Church. I understand why only the hardiest of people venture back here. Particularly on a hunt. trying to find a spot to cross the river. Uh, that friend of ours gave us a couple points on a map and it's not real doable looking. Uh, but it may be our only option to go back up to where we want to go. So we're just going to keep driving until we find a spot. Is that a trucker? Yep. We've seen all kinds of critters so far. Two of them. The trail is a pretty popular place. We already passed at least three rigs with all the horse trailers on the back of them. First breakfast uh, since we've been here, we're making up pancakes. Gary, since I make maple syrup, he, I better be making him some pancakes. So, got pancakes with uh, freeze dried strawberries and bacon grease for no stick. And I hope that works. Well, so. makeshift paper plate. Thank you. 
across the river. So we've made it to where we're gonna jump up the mountain at and follow a little stream up. And Gary has come back with some kind of treasure. He was out exploring while we we're taking a break. We stowed the raft. Hopefully no critters get into it. And he has something that looks like an old hand drill. This thing's uh, two and a half, three feet long. And, uh, so I guess, worst case, we've got a couple little saws and now we've got a drill. So we can make our own building. What you got there? In case we need to build a shelter. All right. Got the tools. Sweet. Well, that works. What's There's that thing? The, uh, asparagus patch right there. Oh, really? Wow, well, we got some fresh food then. So our information on this spot had the bottom being open and we could walk right up it. Uh, as that turned out not to be the case, so now we're just shy of free climbing uh, up the mountainside. It's beyond 45 degrees. Um, it's steep, it's really slippery, um, loose rock. There's not a lot of handholds, uh, somewhat brushy in spots, and uh, just hard to get around. So we won't be taking this route back out. And a lot of the area right where we're at, this is how it is. So if you're coming out here, study up or have an alternate point. If it looks too rough, it probably is. Sometimes when you're in rough country that you're unfamiliar with, you just gotta let the animals show you the way. They live here. They know the trails, they know the hills. They know where it's safe, where it's not. Just let them guide you. Gary and I split up. He's going up over the top. And I'm coming down low. So he's up high. He'll have a better view. But I'm gonna be closer to the water. And since I didn't pack a whole lot, planning on being near water, even though it's only about 12 o'clock noon, uh, I'm already getting a little bit low. And my campsite's only a couple hundred yards away. So where we were at earlier, we could glass it up. And I hit it with the range finder now. <laughs> when I say a couple hundred yards, that's line of sight. Basically double or triple that to the distance I actually have to go to get there. And then I may or may not have to climb up a little bit, but either way, I was gonna have to climb up anyway. So, hey, at least this way I'm closer to water. If I fall, it ain't as far. Well, as I thought, I win the race, unless he's over the hill somewhere. But he did have to climb probably another you know, four or 500 feet in elevation, whereas I basically just side hill across and maybe had to come up 50 to 100. Uh, and I was saying I hit the game trails and it was pretty easy walking except for the last little bit. Now I just got to find our exact campsite that we're going to set up at. And I'll probably start a fire because um, it's sprinkling out. It's getting a little wet. And so we need to be able to dry our gear off and make some food. It's about 1230. Well, I know we're both hungry. Since we're two hours off, this would be 2.30 our time. So, I'm gonna see what's up here and see if I can maybe catch something out in the open, moving midday in the rain. Well, might get lucky. Camp is set up. Sun's starting to come out. Rain's starting to go away. You notice my tent's a little bit different. I've got an emergency tarp on the back of mine. Actually, it covers pretty much the whole thing. But that helps keep me a little warmer. I don't have the same kind of equipment Gary has. My sleeping bag's not quite as good. So I'm hoping that this will help retain the heat. It's not supposed to get super cold uh, while we're out here in the 40s overnight. Although 
this high up it may be a little bit colder but we'll see so we're gonna start looking for bears and we just had a little bit of lunch they starting out pretty good aside from the absolutely horrendous hike which had i known it was going to be like that i probably wouldn't come on this trip but we also didn't follow directions and that's important too we were told to follow the bottom and we followed the ridge line which yeah we shouldn't have done he is not happy to see me anybody knows what these things are called let me know i'm trying to figure it out like a woodchuck with a bushy tail. See the asparagus we got from the other night. Mmm. That is good. So after a campfire discussion, Gary and I decided that since there's no animals in this drainage, we're going to pack up camp and move to another area. And when I say no animals, I mean no elk, deer, we haven't seen any moose, and definitely no bears. So it was a hard hike in, but hopefully the next spot will be better. I'm not looking forward to the hike out. I don't know if the way out is better or worse than the way in. I was told this creek bottom was open, but nothing looks particularly open down here. There's no trail. It's just beating through the brush and going over rocks. But at least we don't have to worry about falling down 500 feet to either our death or broken bones. So I guess in that regard, it's better. It's the way out. Just as bad as the way in. quarter mile down through there. Back to where we originally went in at. We climbed up that and went over the top through there because we deemed this path we made it down to the beach finally. I don't know what was hard to climb up or to come back down through that canyon. That was pretty rough. Now we're going to get the raft back out, air it up, cross the river, and go back into another spot this afternoon or evening. And hopefully my poor little feet are healed up by then because they are really sore. And I'm not looking forward to much hiking right now. Can't kill bears if you don't hike, unless you're really, really lucky.